I've been sent a parcel. A present, if you like, but something to look at and review. And I thought I'd share the unboxing and the process with you guys. This is, I'm hoping, it's the only thing I know it's coming, the new tea shovel from Dr. Otek. And with an adjustable shaft. And it should be nice and lightweight. And nice and robust if the rest of their tools are anything to go by. Right, so let's get it open. And we'll have a look. Let's have a go. Now, I've always been one of them people that won't buy a shovel. Um, to me, spade's a spade. I'm sure there's a phrase there. Um, but I, yeah, what, what can spade technology do for me? I'm going to find out. I've always gone with like a garden spade that's been adapted, cut down, and it's done me. Um, but people that have used my spade or even picked it up, it's heavy. It is heavy. It's just here, actually. This is what I use. It is heavy, but I can stand on that and I know it won't break. I can dig into some baked um, mud and it will cut through it. Um, and oh, that will probably outlast me in the hobby. That is just not going to break. But some people do want a lighter weight tool. Some people want to be able to adjust the height. Um, I do appreciate if you're doing gardens, you want a thinner tool. Uh, I do have another shovel that I've cut down and it, it's thinner. But we're going to see what you can get off the shelf. And obviously this is the Dr. Otek one. Ah, that's so funny. Brand spanking new, it's the only one they've done. Um, yeah, here it is. This is it, yeah. Oh, I better check, otherwise, we'll be opening something completely random that you don't want to see. Right, let's chuck that over there. Okay, all right, here we go. I've seen pictures of it. I've not actually watched any reviews myself, but I have seen pictures and uh, we have a user manual. Let's see what the user manual tells you about the spade. It's got all the support links. It's got the QR codes on the back. 24 month warranty. So yeah, I suppose you, you register that email or Facebook and then any problems for the warranty. Two years, two years. Now we've got a T-shaped handle, a middle rod, a lower rod, and a shovel spade. Uh, it's designed to be detachable, dual purpose, so you can obviously use it for short digging, standing. Um, then it just gives you the how to assemble it, and that is pretty much it. So, what else we got? Oh. Got some camo tape. I'm not going to be putting camo tape on it. I might put the camo tape on my spade. But I'm going to keep this one as is. Right. Very well packed. It's not It's not punctured box. It's not... I'm not going to say it's not dented and bent, because I don't know yet, but... That side looks alright. That side looks alright. Some of that. Some of that. And that's your... Uh, that's got a, it's got a protective uh, covering on it. Um, I do have a cover for my spade, which I might chuck on this one, because I don't know if they do a cover for when you've got it in the boot of your car, and it starts scuffing up the boot of your car, like that one does. There we go. See if I can be a convert. Initially, I'll put the weight up on the screen now, because it doesn't feel too heavy, uh, and I'll put the weight of my spade up, and we'll see. Okay, let's undo the... Bottom half. So you've got your threaded, threaded part there to join the T handle. But I think you can separate it out and put the T handle on there. But we'll have a look in a second. Let's take the uh, edging protection off. Ready? Ooh, look at that. One serrated. Excuse me. One serrated edge. Two serrated edges. That'd be nice for cutting into turf. And I'll, it's not too sharp, but it's sharp enough. The welds all look good. 
that's one thing that would let it down. That would be the weakness if you're going to have a weakness. But the welds look pretty good. And obviously you've got a reinforced triangle section. Which is definitely what you need. Especially when you're levering. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, it's got some... It's actually got a directional lock and unlock. Threaded collar. Oh, I see, so you're locking in. Ah, uh -huh, gotcha. So once you do it up, you can lock it in. Right, let's, let's assemble said shovel. I may put a tiny bit of grease on there. Now, do we have any sizes? If not, I will give you some sizes on the screen. We don't, but I will give you some sizes on the screen. Uh, where are we? Unscrew the locking nut, connect the middle rod to the lower rod counterclockwise, and then remove middle rod. Align the T-shaped handle with the lower rod. Connect the T-shaped handle, that's already on, to the lower rod, and tighten the locking nut, which we've done. If the locking nut is too tight, unscrew. Please get a blade in, put the blade in the ground, shape the handle forwards and backwards. Yeah, that's if you've got one. You might have dirt in there, which is likely and for you. If you're going to use it on the beach, which I am not, I have no need to. I've got a um, sand scoop for that. And if you watch the next video, I might have a, a brand new sand scoop. But I do have one, so I don't take shovels to the beach anymore. Rarely. I do have a designated um, beach spade. Because I think if you use this, you're either going to have to keep it super clean on the beach. And it's not really a beach shovel. Um, to keep the sand out of your threads but that is not heavy that is that's not thin gauge steel either that is uh that's quite that's powder coated as well ah oh, look it, yep i can hear it locking in as well take that off again very thick gauge actually so you know that that is not that is not going to bend and the t-handle is obviously made of the same but it's got a nice chamfer so you don't have I welded a t-handle onto the end of this one I didn't really chamfer the edges so that's not going to be sharp on your hand the welds all around the top are good can't really see any problems but we're going to have to go out and use it obviously I think we're going to go down to the manor house and use this. Um, stay tuned for actual in in field review. Giving me first thoughts when I'm out, but first thoughts out of the box. I like it. I like it. I like this black actually. Didn't want a silver one. Not that they do one, but I don't want a silver spade. Yeah, and I like the fact it comes apart so. I may even be able to get that in my bag. Just stick it out the top if you had to, if you want to push a motorbike, you could probably collapse this down. And if you've got a detector that collapses down, you're away. Right, I think that is it. If you want to see the sand scoop review, it will be following. And um, I may even do a coverage of all the Dr. O Tech tools and different tools you can get for metal detecting, digging wise. That's it, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.